Throughout the Ukraine war, India has refused to criticize Russia beyond calling for diplomacy, an end to hostilities, and respect for international law and the sovereignty and territorial integrity of all countries. India has abstained from voting on five different United Nations resolutions that condemned and called for an end to Russia's invasion. Although it has provided aid to Ukraine, it has ignored calls from Western democracies to condemn or sanction Russia. India's policy of siding with Russia can be attributed to its dependence on the Eastern European power, as well as Moscow's historic support for New Delhi, even in the face of Western opposition. For one, India imports 60 to 70 percent of its military equipment from Russia. However, Russia has also extended strategic diplomatic support by siding with India on key disputes in international fora. It officially recognized India's sovereignty over Kashmir in 1955 and prevented international intervention. In 1961, the USSR vetoed a UN Security Council resolution introduced by the United States and the United Kingdom that sought to condemn India's use of force in the liberation of Goa from Portugal. It also offered support in the 1971 Bangladesh Liberation War, when the United States and the United Kingdom respectively dispatched a 10-ship naval task force and an aircraft carrier to the Arabian Sea to support Pakistan. It is thus no surprise that India has also gladly taken up Russia's offer of discounted oil, with purchases increasing by 400% since the invasion began. Against this backdrop, US President Joe Biden has called India's position on the Ukraine war shaky, and urged it to condemn Russia. However, the US, the UK, and Australia have all said that they understand India's divergent stance, even if they do not agree with it, due in large part to India's indispensability in countering China in the Indo-Pacific. Russia meanwhile, has praised India's independent and balanced position, which appears to be a reward for decades of support that has been far less forthcoming from Western powers who are now demanding a shift in India's policy.